Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq of Oman on his country's National Day. His Majesty the King expressed his best wishes of abundance, health and happiness to His Majesty the Sultan and further progress and prosperity for the people of Oman under His Majesty's leadership. His Majesty the King appraised the depth of Bahraini Omani relations and their development, wishing them further progress and prosperity to meet the aspirations of the two brotherly people and achieve their joint interests. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to His Majesty King Mohammed VI of Morocco on his country's Independence Day. His Majesty the King wished the Moroccan monarch good health and happiness and the Moroccan people further progress and prosperity under his wise leadership. His Majesty praised the depth of relations that bind the two kingdoms and peoples, wishing them further development to serve joint interests. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Sultan of Oman, His Majesty Sultan Haytham bin Tariq on Oman's National Day. His Royal Highness expressed his wishes of abundant health and happiness to His Majesty the Sultan and further progress and prosperity for Oman and its brotherly people under His Majesty's leadership. His Royal Highness hailed the level of brotherly ties between the two countries and people, wishing them further progress and prosperity to meet the aspirations of the two people and achieve their common interests. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent a similar cable to Oman's Deputy Prime Minister for the Council of Ministers, His Highness Sayyid Fahad bin Mahmoud Al Saeed. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Moroccan monarch His Majesty King Mohammed VI on Morocco's Independence Day. His Royal Highness expressed his wishes of abundant health and happiness to the Moroccan monarch and further progress and prosperity for Morocco and its brotherly people under His Majesty's leadership. His Royal Highness hailed the depth of brotherly ties between the two countries and people and the continuous growth witnessed by the course of action at all levels, wishing them further progress and prosperity to serve common interests. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister sent two similar cables to the Crown Prince of Morocco, His Royal Highness Prince Moulay Hassan bin Mohammed and the Prime Minister of Morocco, Aziz Aknouche. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the President of the European Commission Ursula von der Leyen at Gulabia Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of relations between the Kingdom of Bahrain and the European Union. His Royal Highness emphasized the importance of doubling international efforts to consolidate cooperation and peace to serve common interests. During the meeting, the latest regional and global developments were discussed. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman Charity Educational Endowment, His Highness, Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness, Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa met with the U.S. Assistant Secretary of State for Near Eastern Affairs Barbara Leaf at Gulabia Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the strength of the long-standing Bahrain-U.S. relations and the importance of furthering bilateral cooperation to achieve common goals. His Royal Highness commended the role of the United States along with allied countries in upholding regional and global security. His Royal Highness also highlighted the importance of consolidating regional and global security and stability to achieve common goals. The latest regional and global developments were also discussed. The Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Isa bin Salman a Charity Educational Endowment, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdul Latif bin Rashid Al Zayani, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting.
the National Guard Commander General, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, met Pakistan Army Chief General Qamar Javed Bajava in Pakistan. The Army Chief thanked the National Guard Commander for attending the International Defense Exhibition and Seminar. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed hailed the strong bilateral relations and stressed the efforts to enhance them. Matters of common interest and means to develop cooperation between the National Guard and the Pakistani Army were discussed. The personal representative of His Majesty the King and Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Environment, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa, announced that Bahrain was elected president of the Montreal Protocol meeting of the parties to the Montreal Protocol on Substances that Deplete the Ozone Layer, MOP 34, in November. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah expressed the Kingdom's pride in the responsibility and global position by presiding over the meeting for the first time in 35 years, which was achieved as a result of the directives of His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa to boost the Kingdom's participation in international forums for preserving the environment. He said that the MOP 34 is one of the most successful environmental agreements that have a global role in protecting the Earth from the repercussions of the depletion of the ozone layer and the threat of ultraviolet radiation emitted by the sun. He added that a total of 198 countries and parties to the Montreal Protocol, which celebrates the 35th anniversary of its approval. The meeting was held to discuss many crucial uh, global issues resulting uh, to energy efficiency, developing refrigeration and air conditioning technologies that will contribute to reducing uh, global warming and preventing the depletion of ozone layer. The SCE uh, chairman expressed appreciation to all parties for their support and confidence in Bahrain to assume uh, this position and enable it to lead uh, the move to reach uh, decisions that help all countries, especially developing countries, to fulfill their environmental obligations towards the requirement of a Montreal Protocol. He praised SEE's efforts and its keenness to achieve the best levels in environmental action, which has given the kingdom a distinguished reputation in protecting the planet from climate threats. The BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received His Majesty the King's Special Representative, President of the Supreme Council for the Environment and a Chairman of the Supreme Council Organization Committee of the Bahrain International Air Show, His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Commander-in-Chief welcomed His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad and lauded His Highness's distinguished management of and follow-up on the all stages of BIAS 2022, which embodies the far-sighted vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, and the constant interest of His Royal Highness Crown Prince and Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Abdullah bin Hamad praised the BDF's contributions to the success of BIAS 2022, thanks to its capabilities and national competencies. The meeting was attended by the commander of Sakhir Air Base, Major General Staff Pilot Mohammed Bahsain Al Msallam. The chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, yesterday attended a reception held at the Bahrain National Museum in honor of the participants partaking in the fourth edition of the Bahrain International Trophy, which will be held on Friday at the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club. His Highness commended the growing support for the Bahrain International Trophy Race, which has become a prominent event that reflects the Kingdom's leading role in hosting and organizing international sporting events. His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman welcomed the attendees and participants from around the world to the Kingdom, wishing them a pleasant stay and an enjoyable race. For their part, the participants expressed appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman for his support to the Bahrain International Trophy. The reception was also attended by the Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment and Deputy Chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid bin Isa Al Khalifa, and the President of the Court 
Knight of the Crown Prince, Sheikh Salman bin Ahmed bin Salman Al Khalifa, as well as senior officials, representatives, sponsors, owners and guests. The Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for Infrastructure, Sheikh Khalid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, visited the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning to witness the developments of improving government units program and the housing finances program. The Deputy Premier announced the launch of the Ministry of Housing's implementation plan in cooperation with the private sector, which is 19,000 housing units over a period of 10 years through the bidding system with an investment volume of 1 billion Bahraini dinars. This comes in support of the goals of the comprehensive development march led by His Majesty the King and the continuous follow-up of His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, and in line with Bahrain's Economic Vision 2030 and the Sustainable Development Goals. The Deputy Premier affirmed that this plan is one of the pioneering programs launched by the government to provide housing units for citizens benefiting from the housing finances provided by the Ministry through the Tisheel and Mezaya programs. He stressed that the positive results of partnership initiatives with the private sector and its contribution in recent years to providing thousands of immediate services to citizens have paved the way towards expanding financing solutions while working to diversify and increase uh, the options of housing units available to citizens. He praised the real estate development company's efforts to provide housing units for citizens at a value suitable for housing finance. The deputy premier then honored the heads and representatives of banks and real estate companies participating in the housing finance exhibition. He also expressed his thanks and appreciation to the Minister of Housing and all employees of the ministry for their sincere efforts in finding immediate housing solutions and innovative financing options for citizens. He also expressed appreciation for the efforts made by the former Minister of Housing, Engineer Abbasim al hamar who contributed to the improvement of uh, government services in the social housing sector.
The Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, in the presence of the Minister of Municipal Affairs and Agriculture, Engineer Awal bin Nasr Al Mubarak, the Director of the Royal Martyrs of Duty Fund, Sheikh Khalid bin Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the National Initiative for Agricultural Development Secretary General, Sheikh Maram bin Isa Al Khalifa, attended the initiative to plant Razji seedlings in the Southern Governorate. His Highness affirmed that the initiative witnessed the participation participation of the children of martyrs in commemoration of the efforts and sacrifices of martyrs, adding that the initiative also enhances the values of community partnership, belonging and citizenship. His Highness noted that the governorate is keen to support efforts aimed at increasing green areas to achieve sustainable development goals and to follow up on community and governmental initiatives that highlight the sustainable aspects of the various regions of the governorate and raise the level of environmental awareness in the community. The Minister of Agriculture appraised the initiative, stressing its importance in commemorating the efforts of martyrs, stressing the ministry's support for these national initiatives. Sheikh Khalid bin Salman also noted that the effective community partnership contributed to supporting the fund's initiatives towards achieving its goal. For its part, Sheikh Maram affirmed that this occasion is a generous gesture from the Royal Martyrs of Duty Fund, noting that the participation of the children of martyrs is an ideal opportunity to cultivate national values and develop environmental awareness. Education Minister Dr. Majid Naimi signed an education agreement between the Ministry and Microsoft on the sidelines of his participation in the Global Education and Skills Forum. The agreement aims to develop students' and teachers' skills with the use of information communication technology. The minister praised the cooperation agreement that has contributed to the increase of the number of technology incubator schools from 14 to 33 schools this year, and 3,000 teachers obtained the title of expert teachers, making Bahrain one of the most distinguished countries in the world. A total of 165 students obtained professional certificates from these schools. The signing was attended by senior officials from the Ministry and Microsoft. Next Saturday, we'll witness the holding of the elections runoff in which 40 parliamentary and 30 municipal council members will be decided. More in this report. After the success of the first round of the parliamentary and municipal elections, in which it resulted in 73% turnout, the final results for the members of both councils in the runoff will be decided. The electoral system will be based on the nature of the constituencies that have not yet been decided, and which will be among the two highest candidates in the constituency who obtained the highest votes in the first round, as the candidates will compete in the parliamentary level for 34 parliamentary seats out of 40, and 23 seats out of 30 at the municipal level. The first round of the elections witnessed great turnout and wide community participation from the people of Bahrain of all ages, which reflects the high awareness of the people of Bahrain and their eagerness to support the democratic process of the Kingdom of Bahrain, in line with the reform approach of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa.